My name is Eric R. Williams, and I am based in New York City. Before Bookmore TV, I was struggling. You no, know, it's interesting because all of the things I was going for, going in for, for on camera were in the room at that time. So we were in person, and you know, casting was either giving you like one or two takes, or however so many they thought you know you had a shot at it, and. Uh, it was one of those things where I could not put my finger on why I could not book one of these roles. And I, I literally, like, I, I felt like, you know, I had my packaging together. I had my ducks lined up in a row. I just could not book anything and I could not figure out why. And I was getting the auditions. And so I was like, okay, that's half the battle. But what's the other part of this equation? So. When I came across Bookmore TV around like the middle of the summer of last year, 2020, I was like, okay, I've definitely heard, I, I've, I've known about Christine, haven't met her, but she has this going on. I've gone through all these other people's programs. Let me see what this one is about since I have the means to do so. And you know, I took the dive because I was just ready to get get out of my own way, whatever it was that was hindering me from my, presenting myself in a way that was gonna allow me to be a working actor in the way that I wanted to be. And so I was struggling in, in that way, as you could say. Like, I didn't know what to do or what, why it was the way it was. Working with Christine, since I like dived into the program has been a, like, it, it's been bliss for me. It's like a dream. I wish I would have, coming to uh, like actually making the means of working with her sooner because not only does she pour into her students as uh, an actor, as a working professional, but as a human as well. And she connects on that level where you feel where she's coming from and you are able to digest it in a way that's gonna be productive for you and where you are in your journey. And you know, I, I, I'm ever grateful I'm ever grateful for Christine. <laughs> Christine's coaching style is one that is filled with love, but um, accountability to make sure, you know, you're doing the work that you say it is that you want to do. You know, she's very, I feel like she's definitely one who's of the school of thought where it's like, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make a drink. She can give you the tools, but it's up to you. It's up to us to put those tools into um any kind of like motion just to see what one if we're first like bouncing off the springboard to see what could happen or two you know if like hey look like i want to tweak this i want to finesse that then she's open to questions she still allows people to ask questions and engage and that's what i love the most about how she coaches the fact that me as a bookmore tv alumni can come into a q a once a month after taking this program and finishing it like months months ago is something that's so valuable for me because this is the kind of business where the questions are never ended. The que there's always going to be something that I know I want to know about. She jokes with me every time we have a QA. and a It's like, <laughs> like I know y'all got questions looking at you, Eric. Like, I, I, I will always have a question, if not when I go into the Q&A, but by hearing somebody else ask something that I've always thought about. There will rarely be a Q&A where I don't have a question. And I'm so thankful that she allows us as alumni to be a part of that. So that's something I totally love about her coaching style. It's so accessible, it's tangible, it's inspiring. And you know, it's, I think, you know, as far as people looking for a coach, you know, she's the one to have on your team. You know, she says she doesn't help with the auditions anymore. And I can totally understand that. But I think that allows for us to instill a confidence in ourselves to go about taking what we learned from her and her program and putting that in our work and growing in that to move to the places we want to go to. Everything has changed for me after taking Bookmore TV. I, on the, at foundational level, main idea, I am in the space I've always wanted to be since I first started pursuing television and film in the way that I have been. I think I, I can trace this back to 2013, where I first started like wanting to take the dive. And so now after taking her course, you know, that's when the scales tip for me. Yes, I've worked with other people before, but it wasn't until I got with Christine and learned what she had to teach everybody as someone in the business doing all this herself, I mean, because the resume speaks for itself. I mean, I believe in learning from people who are doing what it is you want to do. And she was definitely one of those people. 
And as far as not, I, I've been consistently working. I like I have to say the first couple times I was like, is this a fluke? Am I doing this? Like, is it like it? And she talks about that. And you know when it started to be like, okay, I, I have a process here that I can recognize and that's able to work for me. I'm getting feedback from people who, you know, you, you suggest radio silence. We'll still get caught in sometimes, but now, you know, there are things like, hey, can we check for Eric Sabale? Hey, uh, you know, producers loved it, but they're going in a different direction, whatever it might be, you know, I'm getting that response. And that for me is the growth I've been yearning for. And taking her course was the catalyst in that change for me, 150%. To an actor who is on the fence about joining Bookmore TV, I would say, what do you have to lose? If you, you know, I, if you already are and you aren't getting any motion in the direction you want to go in, what do you have to lose? You know, like it's an investment. And, and as we understand, you know, investments in our businesses can come at gains and losses. And that's just how it goes. But for somebody looking at Bookmore TV, one, if you're on the fence about it, it says to me that you're stuck of being, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and stuck at where you are. Two, it says you're at least in a place to contemplate where it is you want to go with your career. And three, all you got to do is take the lead. That's what I say. I say take the lead because Christine, she's going to have different uh, gears in your mind, they'll start to turn. They'll start, you'll start to think differently. Like I watch TV and film differently now. I'm like, thank you. It's not too differently where I can't like still enjoy it, but I notice all these things and I'm able to apply them to my work, you know? And I take the lead. <laughs> Christine's great. She's a great person. We, uh, everybody in the community adores her. You know, like I said, I found that I knew, I've known about Christine for years now. I came out of the same high school uh, that Christine went to back in Atlanta as well. And so we have a few of the same mentors and they, she was one of the ones they always talked about, especially, you know, when she uh, started really picking up some heat. Remember, I, I had my, one teacher, uh, Miss Axum, back in Atlanta. She would always say, you need to uh, you need to look at Christine. Christine's doing all that. You need to get with her. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I check, I would check out Actors Daily Bread and all this. I mean, it would just happen to be in the background. And you never know things happen in your life that are gonna push you to where you're just tired of being where you are. And it happened for me and like a lot of us, it was the pandemic. And it happened, came across Bookmore TV, finally put a stake in the ground and said, we're doing this. Cause you know, like at the very least I can learn something and at the very most my career can change and turn all the way around. And that's what it has to do. That's what it's done. And that's what it's, it's continuing to grow from here. Like I shoot tomorrow for uh, the, the show that I booked a couple weeks ago. And I would not have gotten that audition, okay? I wouldn't have gotten that audition without learning how to go about showing up in my auditions from how, what I learned from Christine. So she's, she, take the lead, take the lead. I think if you take the lead, it, you'll fly. You won't know if you'll fly if you don't do it. So I say get off the fence and do it. I am a booking magnet. I'll say it again. I am a booking magnet. No questions about it. No questions. None. Period. <laughs>